welcome back to another vlog so i thought i would show you guys typically what a morning looks like for us in our household so as you can see we'll get up very early to leave for work um and i do tend to struggle to get out of bed even though the bed is quite high and i am quite tall um it does take me a few moments to get myself together before i get up and go to the bathroom by the time i come back i have this bad habit i know i'm not the only one but i sit in bed for about five or so minutes and just scroll through all my social media so whether it's instagram facebook youtube i just kind of like to go through everything um 6 40 is kind of where i'm starting off today so every day is different um but before i do start to my house duties i am just grabbing my belt my support belt um i do have pgp this pregnancy um so this just kind of secures baby girl and helps me with her weight um, and just gives me a little bit more support in the areas that I need, which is my pelvis. So that is where I'm getting the extra support and this is what it looks like. And now we begin our day, so let's go. Majority of our mornings do look like this. So I'm just putting down the stools in the kitchen because I tend to mop the floors in the house every second day and if there's any leftover washing or dishes I'll put those away as well so here I stacked the dishwasher the previous night and now I'm just unstacking it once I finish putting away the dishes I am then going to move on to the washing so this was just like whatever washing was left over um, I just washed the girls bedding and blanket in this basket there was just some of Wall's work clothes and um, some pillowcases, some of the girls clothes. Um, I obviously did them in three different loads so that way they're not all getting mixed up and I do like to do everything by like bedding, colours, um, whether they're the kids mine, Wall's work where I just do them all in separate little loads and then here I am just going to organize everything into everyone's piles. As you can see there's a few different piles happening here but like I said I do wash everything individually by like I guess you could say category um, and then once they're folded I am just going to get up and um, take them all to everyone's room before I move on into our bedroom and that is where I will make my bed. I can honestly say I have never never liked making my bed I always dreaded making my bed and since this pregnancy it has honestly taught me um, a lot and I have come out a lot of my bad habits so normally we would sleep in and I wouldn't bother making my bed probably like once or twice every week but since this pregnancy I am a lot more I guess you could say OCD with things everything has to be organized everything has to be neat so I've definitely got into some good habits one of them being I make my bed before um, the girls get up and I've just noticed that it literally takes so much stress off me and just walking into my bedroom is just like a relief I don't know let me know if you guys um, are bed makers or not um, and then this is just my snug hug pillow that I am collaborating with and I will have part two up very soon of that on my thoughts and opinions it's the best support pillow um, by this time it is now 656 so yeah I got everything done in a small amount of time. The girls were half asleep when I went in and asked them what they wanted for breakfast and they said toast, we've been loving toast with jam or toast with honey or toast with Nutella, anything toast related we have been into it the past couple of weeks so I just put on some toast and then the girls came out, um, Ava was talking to me about her swimming and yeah I just kind of like to cuddle them and tell them I love them and they had nice dreams, etc. etc. Now, because it's super early, the sun does come up, and me and the girls do love to watch the sunrise. But um, before then, I will just turn on the TV, probably turn the light off, and um, yeah, be on for them while I get breakfast all organized and sorted for them and myself. Today we had jam on toast and I had some myself and then yeah we'll just kind of sit on the couch for like half an hour we'll watch some shows like Back or Gone or something that's on channel 99. Catch up on replies, 
replies from people, emails, collabs, um, what I need to post, kind of just look at my schedule for the day, etc. Moving on, the girls are all dressed and ready. I get them ready before myself. So here I am just brushing Natalina's hair. I haven't done her hair in so long since I took her braids out. So here I am just brushing her hair while she's brushing her teeth. Um, normally by the time they finish brushing their teeth, I'm done brushing their hair. And yes, that's my little bump poking out of my top because <laughs> my bump is so big. Uh, but yeah, I love the way I did Natalina's hair and she loves getting her hair styled and I just love styling it. Um, Ava's hair takes a lot longer than Natalina's um, because her hair is a lot more longer. Um, and yeah, it just takes like an hour or so to get it all together but once it was done it looks so cute so yeah let me know if you guys want to see like a full in-depth um, hair tutorial on what products I use for the girls how I take care of it let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to try and get around to it hope you guys enjoy the rest of this vlog good morning guys so it's currently 8 45 and your girl has spent the last hour literally doing the girl's hair um ava's hair takes a lot longer than natalina's because it's a lot more longer and then the last 15 minutes i just put myself together as quick as i could because 9 30 we have a mega play gym which i booked in advance for the girls for the school holidays this is going to be their first time doing a major mega gym so they normally do play gym every other tuesday but for school holidays they have like special events going on every week so next week they have um slime making which is going to be quite interesting um both girls love slime we don't have that home but when we do do it on special occasions they absolutely love it so the fact that they're doing it as an activity at the same um center is amazing and it also gets them out of the house and keeps them occupied as well but the girls play activities to do. I have to go food shopping, which means I need to make a list before we actually leave the house. And um, what else? I also need to go to Bunnings and pick up a prep and pine because I have been scrubbing away the past couple of days at a dollhouse that I got off of Marketplace and it was literally $5. So I'm gonna show you guys that later. Um, and then we're gonna head into Kmart, Spotlight and I also need to get my eyebrows done because they're a bit crazy and probably my nails because they have grown out so much since I got them done for my baby shower. Hi manners, hello, welcome. Um, if you guys are new here, make sure you guys like, comment, share and subscribe. I thought I would film today as a steady productive day in our life on how our morning starts to kind of how it finishes and considering we do have a few things going on today, I thought why not? So um, yeah, we're about to head into the car and Need to put some shoes on the girls need to put on some shoes um but yeah ava's actually been learning to tie her shoelaces and that's really exciting it's been a really big um like milestone for her and for us to like watch her do some big girl things but yeah let's go yep cross yeah make sure it's like this darling yep tight 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 yep 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 She's yep. tying it like Yes. Now, one bunny ear. Mm -hmm. One bunny ear. Yep. And then what do we do now? Do it. Tuck it. Tuck it. And then we pull. Pull. This string isn't as long as the ones you practiced on. Okay, pull it. Just tight. Five. High five. We are now home, so it is 12.50. Um, so basically between the play gym and currently, but it went a little bit longer, I'm guessing with school holidays and stuff, the program went a bit longer. After that we went to Salisbury and I did some fruit, fruit, veg, meat and bread shop. As you guys would have seen, we brought all the groceries in and I've just finished putting them away. Girls are over here having a little jelly drink and surprisingly enough, but all those groceries cost me under $100, which is like a bargain and also a good 
budget as well considering that all our fruit veg meat and breads do kind of cost a lot especially the meat um after that i filled my car up and i also went and got my eyebrows done Look really good and yeah we're about to head off now to Kmart because I promised the girls that we would go and get them some stuff for their dollhouse so we're off to go do that before we go I do need to write up another grocery list and this is just going to be like all our other essentials like toilet paper I think we've only got like three rolls left or something and just other like little essential stuff that we need so I'm going to write the list out now and then we're going to head off All right, so get some people. people. Yep. People. Um, and then what else? TV. TV. Yep. Put it in there. What else they got? They've got this baby. And oh, they got the bedroom stuff. It's pretty the kitchen. Plus kitchen. Do you want that one? Yeah, but we want the other one. The other kitchen. And they have a bathroom here. Yeah, we need we need a Yeah? Done? Yeah. Okay, let's go home. So this is the dollhouse that I ended up getting second hand off of marketplace. I only paid five dollars for it. Um, but it had a whole bunch of stickers like everywhere inside and around the outside. I am painting it. I have all the paint to paint it. I just need to go and get the primer, which is from Bunnings. So we'll probably go later on tonight or tomorrow morning and get that. So that way I can just paint it all and just make it all a little bit more newer. But we ended up getting the wooden family set. What else? The wooden dollhouse kitchen furniture yeah. set. The, what one's that one? TV. The TV, the living room furniture set. There was two living room ones, but um, I got the girls to choose one and they chose that one with the TV. And playroom for the baby. So it's a baby, it's a nursery. So the girls are going to open all of these up. And then you guys can put them wherever you want to put them in there, right? Okay. Yeah? Okay, alright, here we go. You guys open that one. Now that my camera has been charged for a little bit, it is four o'clock and I'm about to just put all fruit and veg in these containers that I got. I'm about to wash them and yeah, start cleaning my fridge. This is kind of what my fridge is looking like. I, okay, let me just say this. You guys around and show you guys what my fridge looks like. All right, so we just have some jellies. That is all meat, some potatoes, um, the girls' yogurts, just some curry from last night, which we're gonna have tonight. Uh, is all the fruit and veg, which I'm going to cut up and put in containers and make it all like nice and neat. So yeah, I'm gonna wipe all this down and revamp it. Yeah, I don't even know how long I have been cutting out fruit and veggies, but I'm going to show you guys the after to the fridge. What the fridge is looking like, I'm actually so happy with it. It's so organized. I just need to finish this part, um, just clean it out. This is where I'm going to put all our waters. Basically, all the drinks are going to go in here. Mushroom, okra, um, <clears throat> red, red and green capsicum my um potatoes and then yeah these are all the kids snacks 
some yogurts and these are just like you know some extra stuff and then I just need to get another one of these which I just have the girls drink so I've got to fill that up um, and yeah I'm just gonna grab another one so I can put all my meats in there so they're ready to go but yeah it looks so much better than what it did before I need to clean this as well this is like all the girls um, cardboard boxes from the dollhouse and then yeah this is all the meat so I just got heaps of chicken lamb curry um, chops and everything like that girl needs to go and clean the house chuck on some dinner put the girls in some pjs i'm gonna jump into some comfortable clothes as well and i also need to start some rainbow so a few people have placed some um orders with me haven't even started so that's going to be my late night project tonight after dinner when the girls go to bed um is i'm going to try and smash out some rainbows but yeah let's go clean next day and considering I couldn't cram in everything that I ended up doing yesterday I'm just gonna flip it into today which is Thursday and I'm also 35 weeks today so I'm gonna give you guys a bump update yes. darling you are so cute right now look at Selena come show me your outfit <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah, he's 35 weeks with baby girl. We've literally got three weeks to go. That's like crazy. Three weeks to go. My car keys and we are about to head off to Kmart because I need to go and get that canvas, which is hanging up on the wall in that spare lounge room, which I put on hold yesterday. And I also need to get a few more containers and pick up some little bits of groceries at the shops that I forgot to get. So yeah, are we ready to go, darling? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? We all ready to go. We're all ready to go. Let's go, Melody. Let's go, Melody. In our home, we are in our PJs, but basically from the last clip that you guys saw, um, I didn't film anything just because I wanted to be more in the moment and, and present with the girls. So I do really want to spend as much time as I possibly can before baby girl comes at the end of the month um, because I'm not going to be able to do a lot of things um, when she's here. Being that I am having another C-section, I'm not going to be able to do everything that I'm doing now because for the next six weeks after having baby girl, um, I need assistance. So Will's going to take... Um, um, a good amount of time off from work to obviously help me because I can't even lift my own baby without having assistance to do that. You guys will know all that in the next couple of vlogs. Checking out new play equipment, went down to the beach, had a walk, picked up some shells that we brought home. And now I'm about to go cook some dinner, but I hope you guys like this vlog overall. It's a little bit long, so I hope you guys don't mind it. But yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.